choosing the best textbook during engineering can be very hard simply because everybody seems to have a different opinion so in this video we'll not only talk about the recommendations but the reasons as to why i chose those textbooks as the best textbooks hello everyone a very warm welcome to hightest channel if this is the first time that you are watching a video on this channel then feel free to check out who we are and what we do in the website the link is given in the description box now in order to decide which textbook is the best for electrical machines we will make use of three factors what are the three factors first one is conceptual correctness all right now there are textbooks wherein the concept is given wrong and if you follow that textbook even by mistake then you're doomed for electrical machines and the second consideration second factor is the coverage of syllabus how much syllabus is being covered so that you are able to tackle any kind of exam all right now the third factor that we have is the ease of understanding if you are reading the textbook without the help of any teacher then which textbook is the easiest quickest and simplest to read starting off with the first factor conceptual correctness now this factor is so very important simply because there are so many books out there which are absolutely bullshit when compared to concept okay so if a design has to be in a in a certain way let's say a rotor design has to be in a certain way then why that rotor design is in such a way will have some reason behind it right now that reason sometimes can be so very silly and stupid in some textbooks okay so that is what we mean by conceptual correctness and sometimes yes of course concept also the basic laws and principles also some textbooks tend to get wrong so this factor is very important so what are the two textbooks that i have seen which are almost never never wrong they will never be wrong i can assure you of that so these two textbooks are chapman and nagarat and kothari these two are the best books some of the best books that you have and you can trust them in case you see a different textbook telling you a different kinds of concepts all right then you can always be assured that these two textbooks whatever is given that will be right Now coming to the second factor the coverage of syllabus now we would prefer to have a textbook which will help us write our semester exams competitive examinations like gate psu esc and even interviews your campus interviews or psu interviews so what is the one book which you can read so that almost all of it is covered so that we have not just one book but we have two books here one is ps bimra and second is rajput okay so these are the two textbooks which covers most of the syllabus at least all of the syllabus that are required for the ug level now amongst chapman and nagarat and kothari which one covers more syllabus is nagarat and kothari so first comes ps bimra and rajput then comes nagarat and kothari and finally we have chapman okay so this is with respect to the syllabus coverage now the third factor that we have is the ease of understanding okay so the ease of understanding is the best the best for chapman and rajput is also well enough after chapman you can consider that rajput is a good enough textbook okay now nagarat and ps bimra are a little difficult to understand if you are reading it without the help of any teacher so out of these four which ones should you have should you have all the four well not exactly if you do have all the four then good enough because engineering is such a uh, study that if you have more number of reference books it will definitely help all right but you don't have to have all four you need to have two textbooks so what are the two textbooks chapman and kothari the reason is you can build your concepts when you're just starting out you can build your concepts using chapman because it is easy to understand and also it is conceptually correct so you don't have to worry about that and next step you will have to cover whatever syllabus is not there in chapman you can cover in kothari in that way since you are already your concepts are already built and you do have a basic understanding even though kothari is a little difficult to understand you can still manage to read just the few topics that are left out all right and whatever topics that are not there in kothari you can once again you can go online and you can read or maybe you if you have a pdf version of rajput or bimra then you can just cover from those pdf versions so this is my recommendation for electrical machines and if you do have any other textbook which you felt was helpful to you during your engineering then feel free to share with us 
in the comments and if you found this video helpful then don't forget to like share and subscribe